Lucy remembered that she told Tina that she would be right back. When we say we're going to do something, we should do it. Just like if we say we believe in something, we should act like it. Abraham from the Bible is famous for how much he believed God. He's called the father of the faith, not because of what he said he believed, but because of what he did. You know, Bible stories are not pretend stories. They're not fairy tales. They're real, they're historical. Abraham lived about 4,000 years ago, before computers and the internet, before Moses and the Ten Commandments. One day, God tested Abraham. He said, I want you to take your son, your only son, Isaac, that you love, and I want you to take him to the mountain that I will show you, and I want you to sacrifice him there as a burnt offering. This was the hardest thing that God could have asked for Abraham, because Abraham loved his son, Isaac. He loved him more than anything in the world, much more than anything in the whole world. You see, Abraham didn't realize that God was just testing him and that God forbids human sacrifice and God forbids murder. But still, he obeyed God, believing that God would give his son back to him. As they were traveling to the land of Moriah, Isaac asked Abraham, Father, I see that you have the fire and I have the wood, but where's the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God will provide a lamb, my son. And they continued walking. When they got to the place, Abraham built an altar and he bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar. He reached out his hand and took the knife and he heard, Abraham, Abraham, do not lay a hand on the boy. Don't do anything to him because now I know that you honor me and you have not withheld your son, your only son Isaac from me. God was happy with Abraham because he trusted him with his most treasured possession. Abraham told Isaac that God would provide the sacrifice. He did. 2,000 years later, God sacrificed his son Jesus for us. Jesus is the sacrifice. Jesus is the lamb. Abraham was famous for his faith because of what he did to prove it. So are we saved by faith or by what we do? Are we saved by faith or by works? We're saved by faith, of course. A faith that works. Courtney, are you okay? Mom, I need the boys to help me move in. They're not answering their phone. Honey, I'm sure they'll help you. They're your brothers. They love you. Well, they're sure not acting like it. Uh, honey, I, I can't talk right now. Why? Mom. H hold on. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on Bible Accounts with Betsy.